Hi friends, Allison here, back to share with you some creative inspiration for Scrapbook Nerd. Today I combined my design team layout with a sketch for Christie's 30 day, uh, Days of Sketches. Um, the sketch that I used, which you saw at the very beginning of the video, was for day 23, I believe. And rather than following the sketch really closely, perfectly, I swapped out the giant circle in the background for this snow die cut, which I cut with my Cricut. All of the die cuts that you see in today's layout is cut with my Cricut. But I do use some papers from Photo Play and also pattern papers from Simple Stories, Hey Crafty Girl. The paper that I used from Photo Play is actually from Tula and Norbert. Um, I was looking for something that had sort of a green teal hue to it and one of the papers from Tula and Norbert was perfect for that. So I'm just working on adhering my picture to a Polaroid frame that I cut with my Cricut. I did mat it with some white cardstock before I put it over top of the frame. Now I know pictures typically are supposed to go behind the Polaroid frames when you have frames and kits and die cuts, that sort of thing. I decided to lay it over top just so that it didn't hide too much of the picture. I end up hiding enough of it anyways with the embellishments that are going to be placed around the page anyways in the end. This layout is about our Christmas Eve tradition. We always order in on Christmas Eve and it's usually typically Chinese food. And while I was looking for a title for this particular layout, I found a phrase in my Cricut Image Library that said something about our favorite recipe is takeout. And I thought that was genius. <laughs> I didn't want to use that particular cut file. I wanted to um, make it my own. So that's what I did. But I remembered that phrase and then built it up the way that I wanted to. So there's going to be some stamping and there will be some die cutting to make up the title. The snowflakes that I'm working on right now were cut from blue pattern paper from the Simple Stories collection, Hey Crafty Girl. I really, um, I wanted to draw some more patterns into this layout and the best way to do that was by using pattern papers. The trick to that I'm finding is Rather than using patterns with really, or papers with really bold patterns in them, finding ones that has a more subtle pattern in it. And to me personally, it's much more pleasing to the eye. The same with the stars that I'm embellishing with as well. They also have a subtle pattern in them. And actually, I think the title was cut from the same pattern paper, which is also from Simple Stories. And uh, it works really, really well. It's really hard to see on screen right now in the video, but in real life, the title is much easier to see on top of the snowflake border that it's sitting on top of. I wasn't entirely sure as I was creating it how well it would, how easy it would be to see it, um, but in the end, actually, it's perfectly fine. I also used some of the stickers from Hey Crafty Girl. Actually, I think only like one maybe. <laughs> but as I was looking at the phrases on the sticker sheet, um, even though it is craft themed, I thought the phrase, I can make that, would work really well in a tongue in cheek sort of way for this layout, especially since my favorite recipe is takeout. And literally on Christmas Eve, it totally is. <laughs> um, I don't mind cooking supper on Christmas Eve. We will just put it that way when ordering in is what the plan is. So I did include some spray mist in the background as well. I do believe I used Heidi Swap Color Shine and I think it's in like lime 
for the background. I'm pretty sure there's no color shine in the shop at Scrapbook Nerd, but you will find other simple stories and photo play products in the Scrapbook Nerd shop, as well as stamps and paper embellishments and other mixed media tools as well. So definitely head on over to Scrapbook Nerd. I'll leave the link to Scrapbook Nerd in the description box below. So if you wanted to go check it out, you were able to do that. So here, as I was saying, the title would have a mixture of die cutting and stamping. I could have used uh, tile stickers that I've had in my stash for eons to create part of the title, but I knew that none of them were going to be in the right color and I wanted to use a little bit more pink. So I decided to stamp it out. I just used a stamp that I had in my stash to do that. And then I stamped, so that was the word our, as in like our favorite recipe. And then takeout was also stamped using the same stamp set from my stash. I'm just adding my journaling strips right now, which I make myself. I use a pencil and a ruler to mark out quarter inch strips. And then I print my journaling in between those lines and then cut them out with scissors and then adhere them as you see there. With that, this layout is pretty well done. I do have some close-ups coming up, so if you wanna stick around for that, definitely feel free to do so. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and a like. And I hope that this video inspired you in one way or another to use um, either die cuts or who knows, maybe some mists and sprays as well on your layout. I'll be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.